What's up guys and welcome to Myth Busting Mondays episode 128. Yes dudes, this is the show where we bust the myths that you guys leave in the comments section below. So if you guys have got a myth that you would like to see featured in next week's episode, all you've got to do is leave that inside the comments section right now or at the end of the video and we'll see which ones get featured next week. Right now we are doing myths from every single version of zombies that has ever existed. So inside of your myths in the comments section, you can do myths from World of War through the Black Ops series, IW, World War II zombies and even and exo zombies as well make it as creative as possible and you might be featured in next week's episode and i've got to say an absolutely massive thank you to you guys for the past like two months now you've been showing so much support on these videos and i cannot thank you enough so once again we're gonna aim for an awesome like goal this week let's try and raise the bar once again and try and aim for 5,000 115 likes on this video i know you guys can do it and as long as you keep breaking these records we're gonna keep pumping up that like goal also if you are brand new to the channel make Make sure you click that subscribe button become the latest member of the pizza club because right now we are on a mission to get 700,000 subscribers before the release of black ops 4 in october but with that said sit back relax enjoy the episode and here we go with myth busting mondays episode 128 so the first myth of today's show has been sent in by two people usually i pick the comment that was posted first but i couldn't figure it out because it just says three days ago on both of these now the first one was sent in by xxpoxx and the other one was also sent in by vegeto lm and both these guys say myth on town if you only have the m1911 and get tombstone and then go down come back to life and then pack a punch the m1911 and get the tombstone back will you have two m1911s so we're gonna jump onto town with my boy chopper i'm gonna get tombstone soda and we're gonna go and see if we can get two m1911s and have one pack a punch as the mustang and sally's and have one as the regular m1911 inside of this game so let's jump over to town and let's check this out okay guys so here we are on the map town with my boy chopper so first things first so let's get ourselves tombstone soda there it is the biggest meme in perk history right there but let's go inside the lava let's place our guns inside the pack a punch machine right now let's make sure that the lava can down us as well as soon as you go down let's hold down x and we're back in the map we got the m1911 let's pick up our mustang and sally's and there's the mustang and sally's and there's the M1911. So yeah, there we go. We have duplicated the M1911 one version pack a bunch with the Mustang and Sally's and one version 100% there just as the M1911. So there you go. Yes, you can get two M1911s inside of town using Tombstone. Now the thing is, I don't actually think that using Tombstone affected this at all. I think we could have done this without Tombstone Soda. Just place it inside of the pack a bunch machine, down ourselves and then instantly get Chopper to kill the last zombie. We spawn back in, get ourselves the ones out of the pack a bunch machine and we should have two anyway. But there you go. Yeah. Yes, you are correct. You can get two M1911s inside of town by going down and picking it out of the pack a punch machine. That was an awesome myth to start today's show with. But let's jump straight on to the next myth of today's show, which has been sent in by Trent Nichols. And they say, myth, can you buy the LSAT ammo on the wall on Buried with the Paralyzer? Love your videos. And what is your favorite pizza? And loads of pizza emojis right there as well. Well, my favorite pizza toppings. Here we go. Pepperoni, jalapeno, sausage. I don't know anything that makes a pizza taste good is good with me I think. but Trent Nichols let's go over to the map buried and let's go and check out if we can buy the Elsa I'm off the wall by using the paralyzer here we go okay guys so here we are on buried with my boy chopper right now as well he's currently down in the middle of the map and we are right inside of the spawn area with the Elsa right now as well now we do have the paralyzer as our second weapon so what we're going to do is we're going to use the paralyzer to fly in buried and then go up to the Elsa on the wall and hopefully buy ammo for it now I'm using all the ammo right now on the Elsa just so we can get a hundred percent guarantee that this does work we got no ammo left let's use a paralyzer fly up there and let's check out if we can actually buy ammo here we go oh yeah, dude, the ammo can went down, and you guys can see right there as well that we do, in fact, have ammo on the clip of our LSAT right there as well. So, yes, if you do run out of ammo for your LSAT inside of Buried, you can use the Paralyzer to get back up to that wall by and get yourself ammo for that gun. That is really, really cool. Big shout-out to you, Trent, for sending that one in, because that's definitely going to help a few people out if they end up running out of ammo on Buried. So, big shout-out to you, my dude. But let's jump straight over to the next myth of today's show right now, which has been sent in by CoolPupYT, and they say myth. If you 
you're on moon and you are switching bodies with Samantha, what happens if you use killing time? Will the source still change? By the way, love your videos. My best friend told me to ask you this. Hope I'm in the next video. Well, cool pup, you are in the next video, my dude. And loads of pizza emojis right there as well. You absolute legend. So let's jump over to moon with Chopper. Let's get up to the part of the Easter egg where we've got to switch souls with Samantha and also Rick Toffin. And I'm going to use killing time and hopefully we can stop the souls in midair. Let's go and check this out. Okay, guys, we're currently on moon right now and all of the soul jars are currently full up. Chopper is currently playing as Rick Toffin, so we're going to get a good view of this. Let's hit the killing time and... The souls don't seem to be switching. No, dude, there you go. The souls do not switch if you drop the killing time gobble gum. I'm assuming as soon as this killing time runs out, though, that we're going to see the souls switch, and the souls will actually still switch in the game. But as of right now, we don't see absolutely anything happen. But here we go. Let's check out when killing time actually finishes. Here we go. No, dude, we're still not getting any soul switch at all. But inside of the game sound right now, I can hear Samantha speaking. So it definitely has switched souls inside of the game. But visually, we didn't get any switching of the souls that we could actually see. Very, very cool right there. So if you want to trick your friends and make them believe that you've actually not ended up doing the Easter egg because you've dropped the killing time, go ahead and do this. I'm sure you can make a few of your friends pretty angry by doing this one. But there you go. Yeah, you can still complete the Easter egg. You still switch souls as characters, but you can't visually see the soul switch when you use killing time on the soul switch between Rick often and samantha on the map moon that was an awesome one right there but let's jump straight on to the next myth of today's show right now which has been set in by jj my hero and you see right there he's got that little one symbol that means that he has been a sponsor here on the channel for over one month every single month that you stay more active on the channel as a sponsor you end up getting a different badge so there might be some people inside the comment section right now that you guys might see with a 12 badge meaning they've been a sponsor for 12 months or even a 24 badge right now as well so if you guys do want to become a sponsor it's super simple it's right next to the subscribe button and you'll get all special emojis to put inside of the chats and also get these little emblems as well but that's why he's got the one next to his name but he says me in revelations during the step where you teleport to samantha's room and place the wisp can you get disorderly combat gobble gum and have all the weapons pack a punched in your hands and loads of pizza emojis right there as well. Now, you guys know that disorderly combat basically gives you a random weapon every 10 seconds. And if you've got a pack-a-punch weapon in your inventory, then you end up getting pack-a-punch versions of those weapons with the disorderly combat. But I thought this would be a really cool idea to do if we got rid of all our weapons that we're actually holding so we don't have any in our invent. So the game actually doesn't know if we've got pack-a-punch weapons or non-pack-a-punch weapons. We then get the disorderly combat, go inside of that room, place the wisp in, and see if by placing that wisp in, it will then change the disorderly combat guns to pack-a-punch weapons. Ones. Let's jump over to Revelations with Chopper and let's go and check this out. Okay, guys, so right now I have currently got no weapons inside of my inventory. And you guys can see right now that I'm currently running disorderly combat as well. Me and Chopper are opposite the part of the Easter egg where we can teleport to Samantha's room. And Chopper currently has the Wisp from Spawn on him right now as well. So we can do the Pack a Punch boxed Easter egg, which is super, super good. If you guys ever play Revelations, definitely do this Easter egg. But here we go. Chopper's going to place it inside of this crate right here. We should be able to see the orb actually go down. There it is. It's going to drop down into the box. And let's see if disorderly combat weapons turn into pack a bunch weapons. Here we go. Let's check this out. No, dude. So it's still a normal Dracon. So it doesn't look like this works at all, unfortunately. Dude, look at that awesome monkey bomb. I've never noticed that before on this amount. The thing, that's really, really cool. Let's actually check the next weapon. No, there you go. Once again, the Rift E9, not pack a bunch. So no, this does not work. Just because you make every weapon inside of the mystery box pack a punch doesn't mean that disorderly combat instantly gives you pack a punch weapons by using that. It will still remain all non pack a punch weapons unless you actually hold a pack a punch weapon in your inventory. But nice try. That would have been really, really cool if that would have worked. Big, big shout out to you, JJ, my hero, for sending that one in. And let's jump straight to the next myth of today's show right now, which has been sent in by Thomas Williams. And Thomas says, on five, if you are in the elevator and someone else calls it to the other end, do you ride it for Free. This is really interesting because I don't think there's any other maps on zombies that you actually have to pay for an elevator. But let's jump over to five. Let's see if we can do free transportation via these elevators by just calling it to different floors in a co-op game. Let's check this out. Okay, guys, so I'm currently on the map five with Chopper. Chopper is currently downstairs. I'm currently upstairs. So Chopper is now going to call that elevator downstairs, which didn't cost him anything he's now gonna step inside of that elevator and then i'm gonna bring the elevator up and hopefully this shouldn't cost me anything no dude my points didn't go down and chopper should be inside of this thing which means he traveled for free is he in there he is in there there we go <laughs> dude, look at that movement right there so there you go yeah 100 you can travel on the elevators for completely free just by getting your friend to call the elevator up or down but if you are traveling together like you just saw right there i had to pay 250 points for the elevator but like i said if you've got one player upstairs one player downstairs you can travel for free on 
those elevators. But now it's time for our throwback myth of the week. You guys know every single week here on Codename Pizza on Mythbusting Mondays, we jump back to older Mythbusting episodes and give a little bit of appreciation to those older myths that made the series what it is today. And a lot of these myths you guys will never even have heard of. And this myth especially comes from a very early episode of Mythbusting Mondays, which was back in April 2013. That's right, it's so, so old. And this is from Mythbusting Mondays episode number four. And this is on Mob of the Dead. And inside of this myth, we figured out that we could actually open up the afterlife doors and keep them open for normal mode. It's a very, very weird myth, but it's really cool. And you could basically camp in there, get loads of kills. Really, really awesome. But I just wanted to bring this back to you guys, show you how awesome these old episodes are. And maybe you can go and check them out as well. But there you go. That's our throwback myth of the week where we can open these afterlife doors without actually being in afterlife mode. But let's jump over to our ultimate myth of the week. You guys have seen it in the thumbnail. You've seen it in the title of this video as well. And this myth has been sent in by Samantha Says. And they say, Codename Pizza. Can you use the upgraded ballistic knives to revive an enemy player in grief mode? And then three pizza emojis right there as well. And this is really awesome. I've never thought about this. You guys know that the ballistic knives inside of zombies can revive players on your team. And these ballistic knives are on grief mode. So can we revive enemy teammates in grief mode using ballistic knives? So let's jump over to Buried's grief mode with Chopper. Chopper's on one team, I'm on the other team. Let's get ballistic knives and let's see if we can revive each other. Here we go, let's check this out. Okay guys, so currently we are on Buried. I'm on the CIA team and Chopper is on the other team right now as well. Now Chopper does have ballistic knives inside of here. So he's gonna go up to the back punch machine. He's gonna pack a punch his ballistic knives and then I'm going to down myself and see if he can revive me. There you go, the ballistic knives are currently inside of the back punch machine. They are now on their way out. Chopper's going to pick them up. Let me down myself with a ray gun really quickly. There we go. And Chopper's going to shoot me. Let's see if it revives in three, two, one, go. No, dudes, it doesn't work. It's not doing anything at all. I can hear Chopper laughing in the background saying that these knives are just getting stuck to my face right now and they're doing nothing. So there you go. No, you cannot revive the enemy team inside of grief mode. But that was Mythbusting Mondays episode 128. If you guys have got any myths you would like to see featured in next week's episode, make sure you leave those inside the comment section right now. Also, make sure you smash that like button as in this week's episode, we are going to be aiming for 5,115 likes. Also, if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you click that subscribe button to become the latest member of the pizza club i hope you guys enjoy this episode of mythbusting mondays and i'll see you in the next video or the next live stream thank you for watching guys and peace out